Hello and welcome to another edition of UFO Video Addicts. Let me give you a quick preview of what I got coming up in this video. Uh, the first is another video of, of someone t uh, using their telescope to take um, video of objects moving across the moon. Uh, this is a video from Mexico, once again, of a UFO. This is a um, video from Russia in 2015. Actually, I'm not too sure if this is a UFO either. I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll look at it. Uh, let's see. This is an article about um, these unidentified spheres that uh, fell over the world. You know, there's, there is video of this, uh, this UFO dropping these spheres, but I'm not too sure if, if um, these spheres actually related to these UFOs. Uh, this is a video about these um, unexplained noises that the Apollo 10 heard while orbiting the moon. Uh, this is a UFO of just a glowing ball. Here's an interview of this guy, Father William Gill, about his encounter w with uh, some UFOs where you know he saw the aliens and uh, there was like I don't remember a bunch of people with him, but um, they waved and the aliens waved back. See, here's an article from Reddit from the National Archives of Australia, UFO sightings at weapons testing site. And then the last is this um, article here about six asteroids will make close approach with Earth on tomorrow, basically. Um, I wasn't too sure if this was actually true, so you know I did additional research and I was able to find another article that you know this says just one, and then this one here says four of them are coming by. So I don't know what to believe, but I just think it's very strange that you know we are whether it's four or six that um, on this one day that that's going to happen. But anyways, let me uh, let me start with this video here. Like I said, this is um taken from earth with some guy's high powered telescope and he's claiming that, yeah, that whatever these objects are they're moving across the moon's surface i'm not completely convinced that was um something that was moving across the moon's surface um now this is different and you know i've seen a similar video like this now this just recently came out i think let me check yeah 20 yeah the 19th 2021 so there are other videos similar to this yeah, yeah i don't know if those you know if, if that's some kind of um digital effect or if if he's actually catching things that are you know leaving the moon that here it's just uh, different filters oh this is the Orion Nebula I don't know if anything interesting is going on but you know I think there's a, there's yeah there's some other stuff in this on this video here yeah, here's something else There are several different clips on this uh, video, it's, you know, just over 10 minutes long. So I'll leave a link so you can check that all out. Uh, let me go on to this next video here. Yeah, this one, let's see, let me start it about here. Now let me go back to here. strange diamonds shaped UFO in the sky and I think you know this whole video it's it's pretty much that's all it shows long distance shot but you know I've said this many times in my other videos this is nothing unusual anymore these these I'm making these UFO videos every single day yes I use some old footage but you know generally I'm putting up very recent footage and I 
and it's because I don't think they're all visiting. Sure, you know, with, with the amount of stars out there, there has to be visitors, aliens visiting. But I think, you know, since we live on a on a water planet, I think that it would only make sense that there are civilizations in the water, and those civilizations have been here. I mean, it, as far as I can tell, they've been here just as long as we have, if not longer. We're not alone on this planet, folks. Let me go on to this next video. Uh, this one is from 2015, and uh, let me go full screen on this. Yeah, you see this thing moving around, and you know, you, uh, let me see, let me turn up this up. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of wind out there, so I would imagine if this thing was like a balloon or something, it would it would have just blown away. But um, this thing seems, seems to be staying in one spot. Or is that maybe a, a balloon that's tied to a string? Yeah, I'm not, this video, I'm not completely convinced that it's a UFO as opposed to something that, no, 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 that, no that's definitely not, not something that's tied to a rope or a string or anything like that. At least I don't think it is. Anyways, that's, uh, I'm going to stop this video here. I'll leave a link in the description so you could check that out. Let me go on to this next video. I got a lot of, um, a lot of clips to go through today. Yeah, this, these unidentified spheres fell from the sky all over the world. This is by far one of the strangest encounters as of yet that we've ever had to report as what appears to be massive spheres have been dropped all over the world on Wednesday the 27th last month. This is in, uh, from August. If you were anywhere alongside the Azangaro of, uh, well, I don't know what that means, Loranchu Kuwani, I just butchered that, of Pura, you definitely found yourself either unconscious or happy to be alive as these massive spheres were reportedly falling from the sky, decimating everything in their path. The locals that observed the whole incident reported that the balls began falling at around 8, 1830 and that before they knew it, cars were being destroyed in an instant, and even the streets themselves were dented. All right, let's take a look at this video here. So they're saying that those fears that they recovered comes from this. Hmm, that thing actually didn't look perfectly round, though. It looked like it had some kind of, like, shape to it. Yeah, I don't know if these are actually what this thing here dropped. So they say, and what is, there's another video here. Yeah, this video is making the same claim. Hmm, that kind of, that looks suspect to me. Yeah, these I don't think are real. I don't think these images here are real. That, I don't know about that. That's fake. This is a, I, this is a fake photo. This is fake. This photo's fake. Yeah, I think this is one of those uh, videos where they try to uh, put f some real stuff in with fake stuff, but I, yeah, I don't, I'm not too sure if these are necessarily, a, you know, what is, coming out of here I, I just see you know two two different photos 
but I'm not really seeing association. I'll leave a link in the description. You can uh, check it out. Let me go on to this next uh, video here. Uh, this one has recorded audio, unexplained transmissions from the moon, NASA's declassified Apollo 10 tapes. Now let's take a listen to this. As they flew further behind the shadow of the moon, they'd lost radio contact with Earth for roughly an hour. While they were moving along with their flight plan and having a snack, all three men heard some space-like music coming in over their headsets. And it needs to keep it sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? Do you hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Gene Cernan was the first to bring it up, saying, quote, Boy, that sure is weird music. John Young added, quote, We're going to have to find out about that. Nobody will believe us. The sounds were so unusual that the crew pondered whether or not to tell the NASA chiefs. They feared that they wouldn't be taken seriously and would later be dropped from future space missions. Strange and unexplained events happened so often during the Apollo program's missions that astronauts came up with the term lie to fly so they wouldn't be banned from future flights. Hmm, they heard strange noises. I wonder if, if those noises could have been made by their module going around. Like, I, I, you know, I don't know if there's wind up there. I, don't, I know there is an atmosphere up there, but could the speed that they were... It, could the speed that they were going around the moon cause some something you know to to go through? It's like um, there. I think there's a certain Cadillac, like the Eldorado or the, the the Seville, that you know you can hear that thing when it drives by. It's like the whistling Cadillac. I think it's there's a name for it. Um, but yeah, and you know, and I recently saw a video about um, all of these noises that people have been hearing in the sky. Well, one video determined that the noise was coming from a, from a, a skyscraper that was under, under construction. And somehow, you know, the way the, the scaffolding was built, or, or the, yeah, the outside scaffolding, that the wind passing through it was creating these strange noises. So could, you know, could, could some wind or whatever going by the, this... Um, their module caused some strange noise. Maybe they just hit it at a particular angle going around a certain part, you know, part of the moon. I, I don't know. I'm speculating. Anyways, let me go on to this next video here. Yeah, this video, I mean, this is essentially all we're getting here on this video. And that's it. This whole video is just basically this. And let me go go back to the beginning so you see you know what caught this guy's attention initially. Yeah, that's it. And it moved in and it just sits there and it does this blinking thing. Kind of boring, but uh, it is a UFO. Okay, now let me go on to this next video here. This is a uh, Father William Gill about his encounter with UFOs. Let's see what he has to say here. Let me go full screen. Can you imagine what it's like to look up in the sky and see a totally foreign looking object? They're sta uh, just hovering, uh, not very far high up, maybe two or three hundred feet uh, up in the air, and glowing and Two uh, bipods jutting out from behind it, from uh, underneath it, and sparkling all around, and some figures up there. This solid looking object, and figures walking about on top, and not the slightest noise whatsoever. And so we waved. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get this object down onto the playing field? And as we waved, wondering whether we'd get some recognition and whether perhaps they would uh, understand what we wanted, 
they waved back. So I... Yeah, so then, you know, he tells uh, one of the little kids to go grab a pen and some paper, and he, he draws this depiction of, of what he saw. And uh, one thing I want to note, you know, this is a, a Father William G Gill. I, I, I think that would make him a, like a Catholic priest or something. But uh, one thing to note, you know, he, he called the, the people that he saw figures. He didn't call them demons. He called them figures. So they probably just look like either you know, like the like the blonde, blue-haired, or something else. But uh, one thing he didn't call these people, he didn't call them demons. So let me just move on to this next um, link here. From the National Archives of Australia, UFO sightings at weapons testing site. Let me give this here a quick read. Unidentified light, WIWAC area. At WIWAC, the site of the Vixen A test approximately 15 miles from Maralinga village are a number of static ballrooms used in instrumentation at 7.15 p.m. on 15 July 1960. A telephone report was received from Constable Hubert Dave Scarborough, who was stationed on the site, that a balloon had burnt in the air. The balloon officer made an inspection and found that all balloons were intact. The constable was questioned and said that he was sitting in his caravan at approximately 7.50 p.m. when his attention was drawn to a light of approximately the power of bright moonlight playing on the ground. He left the caravan and saw what he described as a white light traveling from east to west. As it appeared to come nearer or grow larger, it turned to a red color. Because of its position and height, he thought at first that it was a balloon of fire and reported it as such. Owing to lack of knowledge as to distance away, it was found difficult to assist was that the light appeared to occupy one and a half to two degrees of the horizon. The, the constable thought that the light burned for 30 seconds. See, I wonder if this guy saw something similar to this, this thing here. And, uh, you know, if so, like this happened in 1960, and again, you know, that there are cave paintings of UFOs. So it means that these UFOs have been interacting with us surface monkeys for a long, long time. And I believe it's because we're not alone on the planet. These guys are coming in and out of our oceans because that's where they live. We're a, we are a water planet. 70% of the planet is water. 95% of that water we do not explore. So... I think that's where they are. And, you know, and, and then now I'm finding out about all of this uh, nuclear testing that's, that was going on. I don't think, all, I, you know, I don't think it was nuclear testing. Because, you know, I wondered, what, like, how many nuclear bombs do you have to blow up, you know, in order to, to get whatever data you need? I think that the reason why the U.S. and the Russians were exploding so many nuclear bombs all over um, the Pacific is because they were trying to knock down these uh, UFOs that were coming in and out of our oceans. Anyways, let me get to this last article here. Six asteroids will make close approach with Earth on Biden's inauguration day. Now, I did uh, you know some additional research because I just couldn't fathom six asteroids. You know, if, if you told me one asteroid, okay, no big deal. Two asteroids, still, I don't think that that's unusual. Then if you said three asteroids are going to be passing by, I would think, okay, that's very, very unusual. But then you say, oh, no, that's actually at six asteroids. Now you have my attention. <laughs> All of a sudden, but, you know, we have been having a lot of um, asteroid activity recently that, that I've noticed. And then on, you know, the 20th, this inauguration day, I don't know. If, I think that's just a coincidence. But six asteroids approaching Earth. So again, I did some additional research. NASA is claiming that just one asteroid is set to um, come close to Earth. A space rock known as 2020 YES is currently making its way past Mars. The asteroid is heading out past the Sun before completing another orbit. However, as it does, the 55-meter piece rock will swing close to Earth, NASA has revealed. 
So that's that, you know, NASA is saying one, and then here's, I found this other article that says four asteroids headed to Earth on the day of Joe Biden's inauguration. Joe Biden is set to take over his presidential duties in the United States starting January 20th. Besides pro-Trump rioters, celestial objects may now be in his way. Over the next few days, a series of asteroids are expected to brush off Earth. In fact, one is traveling towards our planet at the speed of 46,000 kilometers an hour. Yeah, are these asteroids or are these something else? You know, we have that uh, Harvard professor, Avi Loeb, going all over the place in all of these articles of him proclaiming how Oumuamua was not an asteroid, but it was most likely an alien craft. So again, and you know, if that thing, it doesn't walk like a duck, it doesn't sound like a duck, it's not a duck. That thing was not an asteroid. It did no, nothing about it, none of its properties indicated that it was an asteroid. It was something, it was something else. But um, anyways, uh, that is going to be it for this video. I will leave a link to all of these stories in the description so you can check these out yourself. Uh, if you like things like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I'll have more things like this. Take care.